Well, we are on our way to Waco, Texas for a day trip. Yay, Waco! Yeah, we're actually in uh, Waxahachie. We left Dallas. We're about an hour outside of Dallas right now, right? Yeah. Now, I've mentioned this before, but we are in the process of selling everything that we own, and we are going to travel the country. That sale did not take long. Yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, we decided no more restaurant business. We are going to travel this country and live on the road. Boo, and, restaurants! And, yeah, and so everything, uh, and we're going to, of course, video and talk about everything when we're there. But, uh, anyway, we're... We decided to do a day trip because we got another month in our house and uh, so we're gonna go to Waco which is surprisingly an interesting place <laughs> what do you think of a, you know Waco when you when you hear the word Waco what do you think Branch Davidians yeah definitely most of us especially older people think of the Branch Davidians and the events of 1993 the standoff but uh, there's a lot more to Waco than that now, and uh, we're going to show you that. But that being said, you can't go to Waco and at least not go to that site. So that's going to be the first place we go. Pay your respects. Hmm? You have to pay your respects. Yeah, well, the first. So that's the first place we're going to go. We're going to go to where that event happened long ago in 1993. And with that, we were back on I-35, heading south to the lovely city of Waco. But after 15 minutes, we were suddenly compelled to leave the highway. Something irresistible pulled us off the road. Pepper, you gotta have a Starbucks caramel frappuccino. Huh? You need to have a Starbucks caramel frappuccino. Mm -hmm. We're going to Waco. I should drink Dr. Pepper, but they don't have it. I guess I could do the big can, huh? Sure. Waco Siege. Gosh, it's like a barely a road, isn't it? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Well, we're here at the outskirts of the Branch Davidian. I thought we could go inside, but, uh, yeah, the branch, but it's saying, uh, we can't go in. The door's locked. Hours of operation till six, but uh, well, anyway, this is where it happened. <laughs> I thought we could go in and check it out, but uh, it's locked up. So I guess no, I guess no Branch Davidian uh, tour. Okay, so here we are at the Magnolia, Magnolia Market, and you can see what they call the silos. Uh, this is the area that Chip and Joanna Gaines developed and is a huge tourist attraction. Chip and Joanna Gaines, they are the stars of the TV show uh, Fixer Upper. And uh, they operate here in Waco, and they are the reason that Waco has become a big tourist area. So uh, we are going to go in there and see what's going on.
So we go inside the Magnolia Market and uh, well you can see there's a bunch of food trucks, a nice picnic area with some tables, and uh, people enjoying their food outside in 100 plus degree weather. Now as much as I would like to try some of the food at these uh, trucks, because I love food trucks, I can't sit and eat in temperatures of 100 plus. I can't eat my food when sweat is dripping off my face and everything else. So uh, we're gonna head into the store. thrilling trip through Magnolia. What's it called? Magnolia Market? Something like that. Seeing all that amazing expensive home goods and <laughs> the food trucks and people eating outside in 100 degree weather here in Waco, Texas. Well, we are civilized, so we're gonna go someplace air conditioned. It doesn't have AC, I'm walking in and then walking out. But, uh, man, look at that really old Dodge truck. It's old. <laughs> Looks like you should say like Coca-Cola across the side or something. What did you say? Looks like you should say like Coca-Cola across the I think the it's, side. The, it's the, oh, the backyard. It is. Huh? For this place? Yeah. All right, well, let's see if it's any good. We are going to go to what to me is the genuinely greatest place in Waco. Forget that Market Street or Market Place, what was it called? Market Stump. Magnolia Market. <laughs> See, I can't even remember what it was. But uh, Waco's greatest tourist attraction to me is the Dr. Pepper Museum. Not everybody knows this, but Dr. Pepper was invented right here in Waco. Dr. Pepper. A museum. I'll, I'll just relegate it for Dr. Pepper. That's right, because Dr. Pepper was invented right here in Waco, Texas, back in the 1800s, before Coca-Cola, by the way. Dr. Back Pepper the is the oldest soda. Was there soda in the 1800s? Yes, but back then they thought it was for curing different ailments. But anyway... And that's what Coke was for, too. <laughs> the Dr. Pepper story is fascinating to me, because the young the man who... the Coca-Cola story is better. The Coca-Cola story is boring. The guy really? who invented Dr. Pepper... Do you know what the Coca-Cola story is? It's not people snorting lines. <laughs> no. The Dr. <laughs> the Dr. Pepper story was about a young man. He was in Ohio, I believe, and he fell in love with a young woman, and her father was a doctor. And, uh... His last name was Pepper. He wasn't, that's his actual name, Dr. Pepper. He was a real doctor, his last name was Pepper. He had a young woman, or a young daughter. This guy, I wish I could remember his name. But uh, he fell in love with her and asked the father, the doctor, for the girl's hand in marriage, and the doctor refused. So heartbroken, this young man traveled here to Waco and invented Dr. Pepper, which became wildly successful. Dr. Pepper, when it first came out, was initially just called the Waco. But the Waco. It was the Waco. The Waco soda. But they decided it needed a name. So remembering fondly about being refused this young woman's hand in marriage, this young guy called the drink Dr. Pepper in honor of that doctor. Because if he hadn't, he wouldn't have came here to Waco, invented it, and become or became ultra super rich. So I love that story. The ultimate, uh, yeah. But anyway, that's where we're headed now. The Dr. Pepper Museum. 
So here we are at the Dr. Pepper Museum. We're very happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we go into the front door over here. Yeah, this is this is it. This is the the home of Dr. Pepper, 1885. And uh, yeah, this is where we're going. I guess we go in here. No, I don't. We don't go in here. I don't think this is the spot where you go in. All right, let's go under the side here. Yeah. So this. What? Yeah, they so. Want AC. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. All right, let's go in. Charles Alderton, that was the guy's name I was talking about. Was it Dr. Pepper? He was 28 when he developed a stunning flavor the culmination now is Dr. Pepper. Hello, my name is Dr. Charles Alderton, but most folks just call me Doc. You know, I haven't worked here for some time, but standing here brings back many memories. Man, could you imagine getting Dr. Pepper in this big a bottle? It's just like a... It's definitely a glass bottle too. Yeah, is this... What is this? Oh wait, that's just syrup. Is that just syrup or is that... Vending syrup. Okay. Is yeah, this like a... I guess that's... Oh, it's one gallon. Wow. Safe syrup. Dispensers and containers. So here's some of the old bottles. Antique bottles. Do you hear that? Drink Dr. Pepper three times a day, every day for good health. <laughs> yeah, people don't say that now. Here's that slogan, three Dr. Peppers a day. Big Red was also invented in Waco. It's a nasty soda. No, it's good. I like Big Red. I mean, is there any other town that had two sodas invented in it? Well, you know who that reminds me. Waco. Dr. Pepper and Big Red. I'm surprised they have a Big Red uh, display because Big Red's not owned by Coca-Cola, or by Dr. Pepper. But, uh... It tastes like cinnamon, right? No. Well, so we're done with the Dr. Pepper Museum. We're a couple blocks down. Lots of birdies. These birds think we're These gonna... birds eat well down there. These birds want some food. Even better, I guess. Anyway, we're going to go to a local joint called Crickets. Have some uh, dinner yeah. and maybe a drink. And uh, then we're going to head home to Dallas. All right, so Crickets, Draft House, and Grill. Only the finest something or other. <laughs> Thank you.
and asked you, how would you answer? So, this is your boring steak quesadillas? Well, if you call them that, then they're just not going to taste good. Boring. Cochita. Here's my peanut butter and bacon. Cochita. Burger. Burger. Where's my egg? Oh, it's... There's an egg underneath it. The egg is underneath? Oh, bitchy. Yeah, all right, cool. You're going to throw your burger bun on the table? Yeah. No, whatever. You're going to make fun of my food. Peanut butter. Peanut butter dripping out the side with the bacon. I think I've got peanut butter down my And the egg. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. The egg. All right. He goes, it wants me to eat a piece of my piece of quesadilla. This is like the best. Peanut butter. This is the best quesadilla. This is good. Peanut butter on. Peanut butter burger. Peanut butter on a burger is good. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Peanut butter, bacon, burger, lots of bees. Mm. <laughs> yes? I can't get it. Peanut butter on me. I'm still, you know. Yeah. I don't know, I'm on the fence. It's different. On the fence? I'm on the fence. Do I have peanut butter on my face? No. <laughs> we gotta take a picture for we gotta take a picture for our Jack Daniels. You better be chilly while you have time to be chilly. <laughs> so say you're getting ready. Well, that was a good dinner, and uh, heading back into the heat. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry guys. Well, it's about six o'clock here in Waco, and. Uh, it's only about 95 degrees right now, right? Well, you know, keep your breath out. Huh? But anyway, this is all we can do, so we are signing off. Till next time. We'll see, so, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>